<laughs> Holiday Rudy continues. Uh, you smell that? Do you, do you guys do you, do you smell that? Is, is that me? No, is that you? Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That's the box. That's the box that stinks. I'm sorry. Folks, my name is Timmy, and you're watching Ho 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 Rudy, also known as Ho Cubed Rudy. Uh, my very last box opening of the D&D for the patron, Zach. Zach says, Rudy, I like the product. Put me in the Thunderdome. I was like, dude, you, you understand. This is like the toxic mortgage-backed security. This is, this is like a toxic asset of 2008. Like, do, do we understand that? Do you see the face of that? Do you see the face of that? That's what everybody thinks right now. Yeah. That's where we're at, folks. That's where we're at. So, we're going to jump in. Starting off with a didgeridoo <laughs> in Dower. Meteor Swarm. Ah, there's the Beholder. And the old, hey, the turtle. There he is. Ooh, beautiful pixie and teleportation circle. Well, as we say, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, everybody. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. All right. Ooh, great card. All right, we got Snake Rogue, Grave Elder, I, uh uh, Evolving Wild. Ooh, Zariel Archduke of the Four. Taurus, I don't know, Mythic number one. Yeah, oh, 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 fresh haircut. What are these words? I need to, these, God, these cards are wild. Oh my goodness. Double Planeswalker craziness. Is, is, do people still get excited with Planeswalkers? Is that, is that still a thing? Ooh, Flame Skull. I haven't seen you in a while. I don't know if people still, Rod Absorption, okay. And Paladin. I, I feel like Planeswalkers are just blah. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, yes. Prince of Under My Face. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like Planeswalkers are not that... Ooh, like, like I, let me just give you guys a story. Like, back in the day, like, you open a box of World Wake or Rise of the Eldrazi Moon, you hit, like, a foil Jace or something that was worth, like, $500 to $1,000. Like, you screamed and ran out the front yard naked. Like, it was a big deal, man. All right, True Polymorph, infamous card there. And now it's like, you know, you get the Westgate over here, you get the Wolfman... You get Rudy the Zorn. That's how I used to look on weekends. And you know, it doesn't feel the same, man. Like, I feel like... Like, I even know people who, like, when they get their little get-togethers for kitchen table magic, they don't even allow planeswalkers. They're like, no. You play with planeswalkers, we slap you in the face. Like, there are people... Like, that's, you know, kind of one of those unfun type cards. Druid. You got, hey, or... Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Black... Oh, Black Dragon's the Uncommon Dragon. Not the... Hey, Cave of the Frost Dragon. Very nice card. Nice version. Oh, Double Cave of the Frost Dragon. I said, look at that. You can barely even tell the difference in the foiling. The um, this is this one right here being foil on the left, a little darker, a little bit of flash, but that's actually uh one of the better rares in the set. At least it was. So Zach, so far this is actually a pretty pretty stable, pretty solid box one, man. Minion, Dragonborn, Prince, Manticore, Zorn, Hunter, ah, Paladin. So I still, and I'm still on record. <sighs> I still feel this is like a misunderstood, overly hated product that's not necessary. Skeletal. Hey, blue up, oh, blue dragon. I I love that these these full fancy dragons are so nice with the uncommon slot. They're just there's no financial value now. This is what we're talking about. Big old double T over here. Nine drop monster ward ten. What a monster mythic, man. And hand of Mrs. V. She always did have good hands when I was in high school. She always did have good hands. You know, can't really say much. But no, I, I still feel, ooh, Grandmaster of Flowers. Like, that card is so beautiful looking, man. Like, holy smokes. It's like nobody cares, but it's beautiful. Dancing Sword. You know, all these little goblin guys. And they got the old purple worm. I still don't understand the blue logo. Still drives me crazy. Another orb. So we're about to wrap up box one out of two. Box one, pretty solid. Definitely not a dumpster fire. All right, Ranger. You got Illusion, Blacksmith, Manticore. That Manticore thing always throws me off there. There we go, Desert Doom, the legendary dragon. That's the, uh, not the uncommon dragon. This is the go hey, Miss Elliwick. Like, how can you not look at this card and, be, and smile and be happy? Like, that card, you just look at that card, and it's like, cool, man. Cool. It, it makes me happy just looking at the card. All right. Wish. Hydra. It wouldn't be magic without a Hydra. Am I right? Oh, wait, that's a double X Hydra? 
Uh, enters the battlefield, roll X, 6D6 die. Wow. There's never a field with more than one counter that are equal to the total of the results? Wait, wait, whoa! Whoa! Okay. Dies to removal. No one cares. Okay, Devil's Chosen. Boy, there are some scandalous chickadoos in here. Look at these chicks, man. These are some, you better be keep an eye on them. And Adult Gold Drop. Beautiful looking card. Uh, again, five drop, four, three, flying. I mean, it's still, it's old school Rudy Sanders. It's still a pretty, uh, pretty powerhouse card, man. So, all right, here we go. Continuing forward here. Hive, Pathfinder, Book of Exalted Deeds. Gorgeous artwork. Oh, love the hair on her. She's stunning, man. Absolutely beautiful, man. Lair of the Hydra. And uh, <laughs> I thought that said YOLO. YOLO to the guide. All right, last pack to box one. Uh, solid box, Zach. I think box one actually, this is one of the better ones. Missing a few of the high hidden key cards. Wow, hidden ways. I think it's a commander mythic, right? Uh, actually turned out really nice here. Hey, Floomp. <laughs> I love that card. Floomp. All right, nice little holder. And Circle of Dream Druids. Go I mean, any other time in Magic's history, man, that would be just a power. Dude, like that card would be expensive and good. And now it's just like the dilution is real of the brand. There's so much. I mean, just financial value is just what does that word mean? But no, that was a great box one, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what was a three? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a nine mythic box. Wow, that's actually pretty good for the D&D &D set, man. Treasure Vault, great rare. One of the better rares in the set. Spell books. We got Pegasus. Ooh, Inferno of the Star. Legendary. We got the old legendary red dragon. Right out of the gate, box one. Dancing sword. Very, very nice start, everybody. All right. And moving forward here. Oswald Fittabenda. Love the card. <laughs> Hand of Mrs. V again, always making me smile. Dungeon Descent, great card. And the Black Staff of the Water Deep. Remember, when you say those cards, the Black Staff of the Water Deep. You gotta say it properly. The Black Staff of the Water Deep. Fighter class. Ah, uh, yes. Belt of Giant Strength. Wait, is that a mythic? No, 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 I thought it was a mythic at first. Adventure. We got the Hunter. Ooh, beautiful white dragon. That's the uncommon one. Ah, uh, Drizzle the Old Drizzle Nut. Oh, well. All right, Zach, box two being a little weaker here. We'll have the infamous Rudy closing commentary here. Ooh, gelatin cube. Not too bad. I like gel on the weekend. Rage of Ancients. Barbarian that not many people care about, but it's okay. Um, we'll have some good... Oh, oh, Ming Ming. Beloved Ranger. Wait, mi Mince Mink? I don't even know. Who knows? And Meteor Swarm. So yeah, we'll talk about the overall product here. Um, again, Rudy, you have to pump the product because you put all your money in D&D. I did, folks. I did put all my money in D&D. Extract Brain. Ooh, Deck of Many... Th I love the art! God, I love the art, man. So nice. Hey! Mordekin, kind of, kind of, mini, mini, I'm on a pee-pee, poo-poo, Shire. Here he is again with a fresh haircut. And Guardian of the Faith. Nah, planeswalkers do nothing for me anymore, folks. I'm sorry. They just do nothing for me. Oh, 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 oh! I don't even want to talk about Spider Queen. I just, it's such a broken card. I just don't even like that card. Green Dragon, Zorn, and a Flame Skull. Wow, that's a second one. Some duplicate on the old Mythic train there, huh? I just feel like, you know, look, I put a lot of money in this product. Obviously, I'm the only one. Everybody else thinks it's trash. But you know what, Trash Chess? I'm still going for it. I believe in it. I'm going to stay the course. And you know what? You all can just make fun of me. As we march forward into the future, we only got a couple packs left here. The, I mean, the, the prices are so low, the market's so weak. I just feel like the downside at this point is a third flame school. Super flipping weird, man. Hey, don't tell anyone. I am buying out the market of evolving wilds. And beautiful little uh, painter there. Hey, polymorph. Wouldn't be a D and D or wouldn't be a live action role playing underground dungeon crawler without some treasure chests and some polymorph. Am I right, everybody? Wand of Mrs. O, Dancing Rudy Hard Sword, Owlman, hey, Gold Dragon. Ooh, As Asmodeus, Asmodeus coming through. All right, we only got three packs left. Box two does not feel nearly as good as box one. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just, I don't know, I enjoy this product, but I, this is my last video of it, so. Well, uh, Sphere of Annihilation, yeah. Uh, we got a white looking creepy. We got Rudy's face on the weekend and the loyal Warhound for the nice little doggy thing. Are people building doggy decks? I know there was a big cat and combo and everything back in Call of Duty. Anybody build dog decks around here? Is that a thing? Anybody doing doggy stuff? Doggy style? Dog decks? Wait, what'd you say? Who knows? Robe of Stars. 
Hey, Werewolf Pack, Leo Rudy's favorite green card in the set. And Evolving Wild, ooh, Den of the Rudy Bugbear. Haven't seen you all video. Very nice pull there. Gorgeous White Dragon also. All right, folks, last pack of the video. Uh, conclusion, I expect the overall market to stay very weak in the short term. Hey, we got Fax Xanadu, the old Guild Kingpin of Jabba the Hutt. Very nice. Wow, that's actually like, a lot of Mythics in the close. <laughs> I love it. He's like running away like, ah! All right, yeah. end of the close, folks. Anything hiding in the back? Ah, Amadeus Zeriel, Archduke Bishop of the Third Lord of the Rings. Very cool. Wow, packed. What, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? That was 11 Mythics. This is a 20 Mythic video. Wow. Anyways, thanks again for being a very kind patron, Zach. Everything's headed your way by the time you watch this video. And uh, overall conclusion, folks, this is going to be looked back upon, I'm telling you, similar to the 2017 era. And this is going to be looked back upon as the Hour of Devastation type Amon Kitty Cat type Iconic Masters type Masters 25, Ixalan Rivals. This reminds me of that this type of product from that era where the market hated it for the longest time. And then suddenly everybody wants it. And it's gold and you can't find it. That's how I feel this product's going to age. I do think it's going to take time. I do not feel there's a lot of money to be made in this product at this current point in the market. I feel like if you're buying this product, you either really personally just like the product in the cards, or simply put, you have giant kahunas and uh, swinging tether balls, and you really just want to wait it out. And this is this is going to be something that anyone who buys this product, you are not going to get rich on this product. So you are not going to make some good money, man. It's going to take. I, I think now, in three to five years, I am extraordinarily curious to see how these products are reflected upon, because I still feel like. The market's gonna, attitude is going to be very different once we move forward. So that's all I have. Rudy with his quarter million dollars invested in the D&D &D set and then uh, leading the Timmy Empire with the Timmiest of Timmy packs, the D&D &D core set replacement. I guess only time will tell. Feel free to make fun of me in the future if I'm wrong.